Hello, welcome back to my channel or hello and welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Rosie Jenner. I am a psychology and mental health channel. Today we will be talking about dissociation and specifically what it means to dissociate and how we can stop dissociating. So let's start off. Um, I'm sorry, I will probably be really fidgety. It's very cold in my room and um, it smells like resin. <laughs> Um, so anyway, what is dissociation? Uh, dissociation is actually a coping mechanism where uh, you either derealize, where you feel like you are not in reality, or you depersonalize, which is when you don't feel like you are in your body. Um, and a lot of the time it's a coping mechanism that can last up to years um, or can just be a slight out of body experience for a short while when a traumatic or um, like horrifying life-changing experience has happened but not all the time uh, the body actually sort of forces you to dissociate in order to um, help you disconnect from anxious situations so if you are constantly anxious if you experience panic attacks if you have really bad anxiety or generalized anxiety disorder then you've probably gone through it um because it's basically your brain being like step back from the situation i don't want you to get hurt i don't want you to be attached to this i don't want you to remember it i don't want you to be in it um so yeah it's a really scary experience it's sort of like not being there i dissociated for about four years um it sort of came on a year after a traumatic experience, um, but it can occur any time and it's relatively unheard of because um, either people don't understand it or people don't go through it. And a lot of the time understanding comes from uh, medical resources or journals or just people talking about it but dissociation has become more of a joke where people will be like lol I'm dissociating all the time lol I'm so anxious I'm so depressed and all of this um and people don't really understand why it actually is so there are depersonalization and deep realization and dissociation is the general term that we give to it and uh you may have heard that multiple personality disorder has actually been de uh, reclassified as uh, dissociative identity disorder which is when one dissociates from their identity creates another identity and hops between them because they're not fully in one of them they have lost sense of self they might have uh, lost control of their reality and it's a really terrifying threatening experience um, but in order to start the recovery process we must learn that it is a coping process and it is there because we are trying to protect ourselves um you might hate yourself for going through it you might wish it was over especially if you're like me you've had it for three or more years um i don't get it very often anymore and i will tell you why um but yeah so i hope you've enjoyed me umming for the past three minutes let's get into how you can stop desocializing and dissociating and derealizing and depersonalizing I'm gonna leave all of these in and you're gonna hate it um anyway <laughs> the way that I stopped was I was desperate I hated myself for just continuing to dissociate with no reason and no way to get out of it because I'd go to doctors and I'd be like I don't feel myself I feel like I'm constantly having an out-of-body experience and they'd be like okay well that happens to everyone just trying to meditate and do mindfulness exercises and as much as that's fun it really focuses on depersonalization and derealization which is a huge issue the more you pay attention to it the more the problem becomes a problem you've probably heard that if you call your depression my depression instead of saying i have depression if you say my anxiety rather than saying i have anxiety or i struggle with anxiety you are more likely to harbor that disorder for longer so the first step is the worst step which is forgetting about dissociation um this is actually the reason that i came up with 
the Just Rosie blog because I had heard this amazing method that I thought everyone should he hear about um, in which you stop yourself from dissociating and because I know a lot of people who do dissociate or have problems with it or have had traumas in the past which lead to it um, yeah I I wanted to share my knowledge with the world because I didn't want to be sat there really well in myself while I knew that people were struggling just as I was and it is awful you have these awful intrusive thoughts if you're like me um like oh my god is someone at my door this happened in the last video maybe it's my cat um you have these awful thoughts like oh my god I'm not gonna be fully there for my wedding for my children I'm not gonna be fully there when I graduate or like I don't know fall in love like because you do feel quite out of it and it's scary thinking that you won't fully experience anything that you want to um, and it feels very out of control and obviously this is your life and it feels threatening to not be able to actually do life <laughs> to actually find meaning in life because you're not experiencing it properly so the first step of course as I've said is to forget about it Put it out of your brain stop thinking i need to stop it give in to it you've probably heard a lot of the time make friends with your demons yeah <laughs> you have to accept that you are depersonalizing derealizing dissociating whatever you want to call it or whatever you are going through and you just have to give in to it and go on with life as you are stop focusing on trying to stop it it does work with nearly every other disorder but with dissociation personally I didn't find it helpful to be constantly meditating on this idea that I wasn't fully there so I guess try and put yourself out there don't do anything that will provoke your anxiety but do things that you love loved do things that you want to feel in the moment with and just don't care about it just be there just do as you wish you could and eventually it just fades and you come back and you forget how it feels to be dissociating because you have just gone without it and you didn't even realize it and it's the most brilliant feeling um to actually start dissociating again and bring you back yourself back from it and realize whoa I haven't been dissociating for the past year that's different um and I'm not saying this will work for everyone I don't want to give anyone false hope because I know that a lot of people watching this will be people who are looking for a solution um but yeah so just try to live life as you wish you could as if you aren't dissociating and eventually when you're not focusing on it when you're not trying so hard to get rid of it it fades and it's brilliant i promise you it's worth it i know i know i know how it feels to dissociate and it's not a good one and i've said so many times in this seven eight minute video already that it's a horrible feeling but it does go away and i genuinely promise that for the most part this method will work but also I should mention pills. If you have really strong anxiety or depression, um, dissociation may become a symptom of that and going on medication or finding a therapist, going through either CBT, counselling, any type of psychotherapy will really help. To be honest, I can't guarantee a cure to this thing I've done so much research on it as you know I'm not a qualified physician psychologist clinical psychologist psychiatrist blah 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 blah. I'm not qualified to diagnose or give you a solution but this is what helped me it's what happened uh, to help a lot of my friends and I've done so much research and I've not actually been able to find a medical journal that definitively gives a cure but there are things that take away anxiety such as the drug propranolol which a lot of people are on for like stage fright and it's an occasional drug um antidepressants antipsychotics if they are applicable to you and you think that they might help or you have tried them and they are helping 
everything is a step towards stopping dissociating because it is a symptom it is your body trying to basically save you from trauma so i guess what i'm trying to say which i say every every vlog um is to stop fighting it and educate yourself because once you realize that is a coping mechanism and once you realize that your body is trying to help you and it's trying to like wrap you up in this warm security blanket that just happens to be a bit uncomfortable it's really helpful and it really helps you to grow as a person grow in your coping skills and recognize what will help you so i hope that this helps someone and if you don't know what dissociation is or if i have piqued your interest in any way please go and do some research on it or ask me to do another video on it because it's very misunderstood but it is a huge part of a lot of people's lives um as always for april i am running 40 miles for the charity shelter i will put a link in the description below it is a charity that helps to raise money to help homeless people get back on their feet and help to fund uh, different hostels and shelters, obviously it's called shelter, um, and provide food, clothing, warmth, um, a centre to like go back to and get a job and uh, it just does so much for the homeless and it's a cause that's very dear to my heart so I would really appreciate if you could do donate any amount even a pound um i have a really low target because i've never ran that much within a month but hopefully we'll get there um and i hope that you've enjoyed this video and i haven't sounded too crazy because of the smell of resin hardener that is aerating around my room so <laughs> um i hope you have a lovely day and that you do try some of these methods and get help if you need it i will put links in the description below to helpful websites and as usual some helplines and i will see you whenever i upload next <laughs> goodbye